And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast, C and Jewel, just Jewel, honing in on those new knives from brands like Kubi, Ghetto, CGRB, Line Steel, Tops, Knives of Alaska. <laughs> Let's start the episode off with the Kubi Dust Devil. Is there knives of Hawaii? I wish. There should be. Three options, black, red, and Ultim. Yep, so we have the Ultim one, this fixed carry, is 7.99 inches overall with a 3.23 inch Sandvik 14C 28 inch spear point blade with jimping, cryogenic heat treatment, 0 0.12 inch thickness, flat grind, full tang, and stone washed finish. Comes to about 60 to 62 on the HRC scale. Handle scales range from Black Micarta to Red Micarta to Ultim. Designed by KC Spiron, I'm guessing. I don't know him personally or her. This carry comes with a black Kydex belt sheath. Weighs 4.3 ounce with the sheath, 2.9 without. Find the Kubi Dust Devil for only $64 from a landknife.com. There you go. Yep, so I like this knife. Very similar in profile and size to the Kubi JL Fixie, which has been extremely popular. Say, highly sought after. I see this one being about the same, especially the Ultim option. Fairly thin knife, which makes it, you know, light, easy to carry on your person. Good boot knife, in my opinion. All right. Thoughts? Go ahead. I like it. I mean, it's a nice little uh, neck knife, boot knife, whatever you want to call it. You'd have to take the little thing off here if that's possible, which it is. To make it a neck knife, add you a chain. Um, I like the fixie. So I would like this one too. Why not? The design? Why not? Very typical for this type of knife. I do like spear point. Knife. And the Ultim? Well, lots of Ultim. Ultim's the craze. It is for now. Yep. Go ahead. Do I have to? Yeah, Up too. next, the CJRB Prado. Yep. Four options to choose from. We have one of each to show you. Yep. Your viewing pleasure. C went all out for you. I did. This folding knife is 8.49 inch when fully open. It shows off a 3.76 inch AR RPM9 clip point blade with a flat grind. Sand polish finish. 0.13 thickness. Jimping and comes to about 59 to 61. On the HR C scale, blade operates on ceramic ball bearings and is open with either the thumb slot or crossbar lock. And disengaged with the crossbar lock. There we go. Yep. Handle scales range in different options. So they have the ebony wood, the rosewood, the black G10, and the aqua green G10. So designed by Ray Laconico, this 3.5 ounce folder is easy to carry regardless of clothing and situation. Features a reversible tip-up pocket clip. You can run through a Prado of Prados by grabbing your first one for only $51.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. All right. Yeah, you can go first. Sure. Yes. Well, I got my first look at the Prado last week. I like the simplicity of the styling. That was my favorite part of it. Um, the crossbar lock, you know, that's kind of become standard now for a lot of uh, different knives. Very responsive. I like that also. Good blade size. And the handle is very, I'm not sure what the word is. It's not thick. It's wide. That's the word we're looking for. I like that too, so I can get a good grip on it. Um, reversible. That works out because a lot of lefties. So I'd pick up one. And I already know what you think about it. So. Yeah, I like the design of the blade and the aqua green option. I think this is CGRB's second time using the crossbar lock. First time was on the Hectare, which was pretty well liked budget carry from CGRB. I like this one a little more than that one. It's bigger. I like the blade. The wood scale options kind of class it up a little. Mm. I just, I think it's, a. I like this one better. Classy. Yeah. Not, gotcha. Wow. You don't even like that saying. No, I don't. Uh, yeah, I know. So, I well, don't say you, it. You imply. I'm moving on. It's been implied. Implications. What do you what about sound clar like? What about a clarification? You sound like OJ's attorney. <laughs> moving on, we're hitting the Netto Warfare two and three. Yeah. Should I say dos and tres? Sure. All right. 
Two is Can first. Can you do the rest in Spanish? Is Cuatro, cinco, seis, ocho, nueve, diez. Sure. Go ahead. So this fixed blade is 11.5 inch overall with a 6.5 inch Vandium blade. Satin finish. We like that. Single plate edge and drop point style blade. Handle scales on this version are bricotte wood. Knock on wood. Mm. There you go. This carry has extended tang, lanyard hull, as well as a black leather belt sheath and red. First try. Reddish black. Corded cording. Yep. So made in Spain, the Warfare 2 is just $79.95 from alandknife.com. That's nice. I know. Now we're going to do the Warfare 3. All right, let's do it. I know. Just hold on. This one does not like me very much. There we go. Okay. So this one is 10 inches overall with a 4.72 inch Van Damme drop point blade with satin finish and single plane edge. All right. Handle scales are made of Bacote wood. I think I've said that before. I think you the have. The option also has extended tang with built-in layered hole. This one also comes with a premium ambidextrous black leather belt sheet. Yeah, I left And that. the same black red cording. Yep. Also made in Spain. Where else? This Warfare 3 is only $78.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. Mm. Okay, so out of these two, I think I like the Warfare 3 better. Now, stay with me. Only because it's got a wider belly and I feel like you can do more control because last week you were talking about being able to be up here on the blade. I'm like, you know what? I do that too. So I just like the wideness of this one more. Hmm. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, they're both well done. Both are excellent everyday tools for the price and they have great sheaths and the cording allows for like other configurations. So if you want to attach it to your leg, your pack, your neck, you can hold it around your neck. I mean, it's a little heavy, but you can still do it. The options are kind of limitless. So when you're out and being able to adapt your tool to your needs is kind of a big deal. So I like that, that you can do that with these knives because they give you all this stuff that goes with it. So. I like this one better, the Warfare. I'd go the same way. You're going to go with the Warfare? Save the Euro. Get the 7895 one. Save the Euro. Yeah. It's great. Why not? It's great. All the same things that you said. Basically the same knife with different blade design. A little bit shorter. I don't mind a little bit shorter in this case. Everything. Big enough. But goes doubled. Yeah, everything she said. Double. Yeah. That's right. Go ahead. All right. Next up, we're looking at the Lion Steel Skinny. Yep. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you're never too far away from AK and all our content. Your content. Your content, content. Our content. content. It's all content. content. Okay. So you're automatically dialed into giveaways as well. We're running our 13th anniversary giveaway in collaboration with Coburn Tool right now. So if you enter here or become an official AK member via the link down below, spinny thing, you're in the hat for a limited edition Coburn Tool clinch knife. See t-shirt, specialty AK t-shirt, and extra merch like lanyards. Not the one I'm wearing. No. <laughs> For I'm some wearing reason it. I was looking at yours, but I, I almost AK. grabbed a C T shirt this morning. Did you? Yeah, I wasn't feeling the light gray today, so I oh. went dark gray. I'm pretty predictable. Mm-hmm. So it's great. Yeah. You know, Go ahead. At least you can recognize me. You can also help your chances by answering the AK trivia question. Or can you? We'd also like to take this time to tell you about some of our daily deals. Yep. All right, so we'll have the SOG XR locks coming back. Yes. That was 89 bucks. It sold That's out, great. but I have more coming. They should be here in a few days, actually. Um, yes. So we got some penguins, some titanium penguins for yeah. like in the $60 range. Nice. What else we got, Joel? Um, we did the JL Fixie recently. Yeah, it's getting, that's time. getting kind of low on that one. I'm yeah, not sure how many more we have left. going to be out of stock. And then there was something else we did that I really liked. Just give me a second. Wait for it. It's, it's going to be big. It's going to be tremendous. I don't think it's going to be big. <laughs> I do it every day on Instagram. I love Instagram. doing this. Was it the... Da, 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 da. CRKT... Oh, the Up and Atom. Yes, the Up and Atom. Because I was like, that's a cute name. I remember doing that. I liked that knife, too. And it was a good price. And then you did the Steel Wheel... Mini Intrigue. Yeah, people like didn't really bucks. like the Steel Wheel Mini Intrigue for some reason. I, I don't know why. why. They Thirty love the bucks. Intrigue. It's, it's the whole D2 thing. It's like, oh, D2's, oh, D2's crap. died now. What well, years ago? It's like it's the greatest in the world. I love to go on forums and watch people argue over D2. Do you? Yeah, you just like forums. It. Yeah, I'll read down. <laughs> He's the, a forum. I'll guy. read down the Reddit forum. No, not really. It sounds like only I don't comment. I just look and I go, wow. 
some guy will always pop in with, two years ago, you guys loved D2. I told you it was crap. And then it's like, okay, we're back at the table looking at the Lion Steel Skinny. So there's 13 different options. We have eight of those in stock right now. I mean, at the making of the video at, at, on Thursday when it's released, who knows how many we have. We could have zero. So I'm sure you'll find one you'll like if they're in stock. So we're sporting the blue and the standard green. So C, go ahead. All right. The Skinny is new EDC folding knife launched this year, manufactured with solid tech. Yep. This means the frame is milled out of a single solid piece of titanium or aluminum, depending on the version. The titanium handle option features different carbon fiber inlays, while the aluminum models have varying Macarta inlays. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so this folder is 7.68 inch when fully deployed and shows off a 3.31 inch CPM Magna Cut drop point blade with a V flat grind. Mm -hmm. Not sure what the difference in that is, but I'll look it up. Plain single edge and either a stone wash or black finish. This one has stone washed. Yep. Blade is open with a black back flipper tab. I can never get that right. With a faux fuller. Yeah. So. Another interesting thing about this carry is that it sports the REF system or removable flipper system. That means you can take the flipper off by unscrewing it with a T6 Torx tool and putting the second screw, which is provided in the box, into the bottom of the blade. Designed by Moletta in Italy, the skinny comes with a reversible pocket clip and a built-in lanyard hole. The blade is disengaged with frame lock and weighs just 2.58 ounces. REF system? I just said REF. I think we should just call it the, the totalitarian government, totalitarian government system. Oh wow! Yeah, you can't have a flipper. That's great. All right, so this green Listen option is all aluminum. governments across the world. Good job, C. Uh, if you happen to live under a totalitarian regime. Uh huh. Oh, you're gonna leave it open ended there. Oh, I think. Green well. option. Yep. Aluminum with brown micarta inlay, while the blue is titanium with a black blue Marvin carbon fiber inlay. Get Lion Steel Skinny, starting at only one fifty four ninety five. Are we giving these things away? Are we giving them away? Hey, Seuss on Thursday. Man. One fifty four ninety five. From AtlanticKnife dot com. That's great. All right, what do you think? What do I think? Yeah. I don't think that's fair because you gave me the one that looks like Chevy Chase's um, <laughs> station wagon. <laughs> Ever, people and like Chevy when, Chase's station When they go wagon. to the <laughs> Wally World. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's nice. It actually goes together. But I like the blue one. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, so no, much that, better. That sucks. It's very smooth opening. I, I was kind of surprised with that. Because normally when you have these... Uh, Removable flipper tabs. Well, not just that. The fact that it's a frame lock milled out of one piece. It's normally a little bit tighter mm, pushing yeah. against it. Uh, in this case, it goes quite nicely. You're saying it's solid? Oh, I got you there. Yep. That's a good one. I like that the fact that there's like a torque T6 torque screw or whatever, and then there's also like a U tool to flip this around. I think that's interesting. Yeah, I hope that's included. It is. Thank goodness. It is. So I you really can pick up one of those at lineup.com for only sixty nine ninety eight. Yeah. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. Just on that that tool. Because it's not a knife. All right. So I really <laughs> like this knife. The option to make it a flipper or not is good for those who don't like flippers or live in <clears throat> other places. But I think the best way to deploy this blade... <laughs> California. Alaska, Arizona. Oregon. Michigan. Washington. Right. Okay. Best way to deploy Middle the folder... Middle of Chicago. Is... Sorry. <laughs> it's coming. Don't worry. Detroit, Rock City. All right. Best way to deploy this is with the flipper side, though. And I really like this blue option. It's gorgeously made. It has a nice pop of color. Usually, I don't like the fact that they just put it on the front. But because of how skinny the back is, I'll allow it. And I like that each version is a little different. I mean, you saw this one. There's another one that has, like, this gold-looking type of carbon fiber and, like, a bronze. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. And then they have a, a brown one that was called something like Earth, I think. Yeah. It was really nice. I just think these are a little more collectible because each one is different and that took a little extra time to do. Oh, you mean I have to get more than one? They're not yes. all carbon fiber inlays? Yeah, they're uh -huh. different carbon fiber. Not to mention Magna Cut Steel, mm -hmm. made in Italy. They have been very popular. High-end material, titanium, carbon fiber. I mean, come on, this has Just Jules' name written all over it. Does it? Mm-hmm. Yes, it does. Anymore. It's on there. 
<laughs> it's there. I think it did one on the table it's, today. I don't know. We've got to move on to our next knife. And that is the Topps Light Trekker. Is it? Not a new knife, but it's back again. And better than ever. We've never been able to feature this on the show before because... Well, never had it. They were gone. That's it. They're just not there. Here it is. Several options. Yep. This is the blackout. It's 8.75 inches overall with a 4.25 inch 1095 carbon steel hunter's point blade with jimping single plane edge 0 0.13 inch thickness full flat grind and black traction coating hmm. comes to about 56 58 on the rc scale the handle on this option is black linen micarta with white liners it includes a black kydex sheath there it is a rotating spring steel sheath clip which i will not be rotating oh no there i am okay rotating so you can wear it you know horizontal if you want as well as a three rod fire starter paracord lanyard there it is and a i now know the exact decibel 126 <laughs> decibel emergency drops whistle and i'm guessing what did you say this was a mini <laughs> saw to cut off your hand or something yeah i have no clue i have no idea what it is either i've never seen this before but a mini saw to cut off your finger. Finger All right. file. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Weighs only 7.7 .7 ounce with the sheath and 5.1 without. Nice. Made in the USA and designed by the Topps team. Flowers and his wife and that what's name? Leo the Lion Espinosa. I think he goes there. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> this lightweight, durable, functional carry really does serve as both a tool and an example of high craftsmanship. Find these for only... Wait for it. One fifty two ninety five from a landknife.com. Don't want this? Now you do. So I love the thickness of this. You can really slice well because of the length of the blade and the thickness of it. Good thumb ramp as well, you know, for uh, blade sheath disengagement and then for putting it back in the sheath. I wouldn't make it like a go-to chopper because it's a smaller blade, it's not as thick, but you could still use it for little chopping things. Like if you wanna uh, take a branch and clear it off and use it like a bow or a spear or cut down some firewood, you can do that. And I'd say this rivals the SE3. Though we're a tad late to the game on this knife because it was released a couple years ago, I'd say this is probably one of Top's most versatile knives as it's not super heavy and thick, but it's still capable of doing those everyday tasks, you know, slicing, cutting, a little bit of chopping, and more. See, what do you think of this knife? Don't I think it's a tremendous piece of culinary success. Culinary? Yeah, I like it's it. It's great. I mean, it's a nice knife. I see where you can see the uh, the S-y part from. The uh, use of 1095, <clears throat> the nice coating on the blade. But, I will say... It's not Tom Brown Tracker. Why I mean, you always go, you cannot compare this to the Tom Brown Tracker. I think tracker. about using them and where I would use them, and that any time I would go to use this, I just use that. But that's not the same thing as I this know. knife. I get it. It's not the same thing. Neither is this. Okay, well, I'm not going to go grab this when I need, you know, a, I just a, use a Tom kitchen Brown knife. <laughs> it's not that they don't serve the same purpose. I mean, it is good. At it. If I ever need, get so old that I need a thumb ramp, someone should let me know. Um, I do like the jimping on this, so, and it is, um, the blade shape would be very beneficial, I think, would really help out in, uh, outdoor tasks, let's just put it that way, so we don't make anybody unhappy about, uh, outdoor tasks. Yeah, things that can happen in the outdoors, animal, and tasks. Animals. Yes. All right. You mean baked beans in a can. Baked beans in a can. It gets old after a while. Mm -hmm. Does it? Unless then you're windy. Then you moved on to... Green beans in a can. Then I've heard peaches. Oh, man. I'm not a big peaches fan. It's time for the Kubi Vejero. Four different versions to pick from. Blackout, Tiger Striped, Gray with Black Blade, and Standard Gray. I know we could do that. Yep. All right. We're showcasing the Tiger Striped Titanium one now. So this folder has a 3.35 inch 14C 28N clip point blade with single plane edge, belt satin finish, flat grind, Jimping and 0 0.12 inch thickness. Blade comes to about 60 to 62 on the HRC scale and has been cryogenically heat treated. It's mm -hmm. a favorite thing. I know. It's deployed with a thumb slot. And a big child. Or a jimped, is that correct? Yes. Front flipper? Yes. Oh. Blade is then disengaged with a frame lock. Yeah. Over, the air has left the room. <laughs> Overall length is 7.87. 
Handle on this model is gray 604 V titanium flame anodized tiger stripe along with the back spacer slash liner hole and tip up right carry pocket clip. Sports blue titanium pivot cap and screws. So, yep. Designed by George of Nachikov, this 3.92 inch, 3.92 ounce, mm. sorry, 3.92 ounce folder comes with cleaning cloth and is just. 11840, landknife.com. Of course, there's other options. Variant blade finish, titanium color, and hardware. All right, so I like the Cybertech look of this knife. However, mm, that's a deal breaker. I thought we were past that. For me, Mr. Opchikinkov. You know, like, remember Jade? Opchikinkov. Natural color? I we passed that. I thought we passed the front flipper. And we we just moved on. I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't work Crossbar well. Crossbar lock. You put some jimping on there, and it's pretty well defined. Jimping not too defined. It's going to hurt your finger. So I can see it as a usable front flipper. I will leave it at that. Now, other if I ignored that that part, I like the blade shape. It's very nice. The tiger stripe titanium is awesome. That's something Kubi does really well. Mm. And I'm not sure if this, George, if this is your logo, the little sheep, I dig it. The little mm. sheep is awesome. I like that. I know, I'm pointing out the logo on the blade, I like, but I like it. do the lamb, please. I like it, exactly. And I like the matching... Uh, hardware, you know, the backspacer and the pocket clip. No. Not a lefty pocket clip, but uh, I'll, I can allow it if it had a back flipper. Should All right, make, we got it, make it. a back flipper one. I, I think it's a great knife. We don't need to beat a dead sheep. What? I mean, <laughs> I wasn't beating. I gave it lots of positive things. I give it all kinds of positive. I love the design. It's actually one of my favorite titanium designs. I love the tiger stripe part. Frame of these. lock is very nice. Yes, it is. Awesome. All right, final knives. We're going to pause for one second. Wendy, this is for you. Knives of Alaska, Magnum Alaskan, and the Bush Camp. Not one, but two. Yeah. So although these are not brand new out the door knives, they're new to us. We started carrying them recently. So. Yeah. New brand alert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So first up, is the Magnum Alaskan. So this fixed blade is 8.5 inches overall with a 3.25 inch D2 tool steel blade with bead blasted finish, single plane edge, and chimping. Handle scales are black sure grip with laner hole through the full tang. Hmm. There's also a stainless guard. Everything from the blade to the scales to the sheath are Alaska. made in the USA. See the little Alaska logo on there? Oh, so cute. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Yep. More Eastern Russia. You'll find that this fixed carry comes with brown, well, that's what Alaska used to be years ago. So well, it's not brown anymore. leather belt sheath, snap closure, and it's only 151.35 from AtlanticKnife.com. I set myself up. Used to be part of Egypt almost 2,000 years ago. <laughs> there was a land bridge, I knew it. <laughs> okay. I've heard there was one. I've never walked it. You can choose from orange as well for this one. All right. See, do you want to do that one or do you want to move on to the next one? Uh, let's move on to the next one and then we'll just tell them about them. Okay, go ahead. Right. So let's hit our next one and that is the Knives of Alaska Bush Camp. So it's 10.5 inches overall with a 5 inch D2 tool steel blade with bead blasted finish and single plane edge. No jimping. Not on this one. Handle scales are stag with finger grooves for additional grip. All right. Go ahead. Full tang blade also has a full through lanyard hole See? and comes with a brown leather belt sheath, snap enclosure. Mm -hmm. Again, 100% made in the USA. Carry comes in at just 232.19 from AtlanticKnife.com. Yeah. All right, so I do think these are really good quality. I don't notice any of those issues that you usually see from slightly newer company, smaller ones too. You know, like scales aren't quite that flush. The pins are a little too high, so catch on stuff. I don't see any of those issues on these. And it's all made in the USA. I mean, I'm not a huge stag fan, but if I were a big hunter, I'd consider this carry because this thing is nice. It's nice. It's wow. Very, very good knives. We want to give it its just due for Wendy. So I will also say I I do like the stag. It's very smooth. It's almost like they picked it out to it be a nice pattern on both sides. It's very well finished. I can't tell you how well finished it is. And it's a nice blade. I wouldn't mind using it. 
Oh, I also wanted to mention while I was at it. Directly from the mouths of babes, Chet. Very high quality sheath. This one here, I really found kind of impressive. It's like, like form-fitting almost. It is. And the fact that they have the spot in there for the finger guard. Yeah. Where it kind of it kind of tears out. That's not a good word. It kind of pushes its way out, but it fits in there. And then there's no wiggle once you get it in there. I mean, very nice. I like Sure Grip too, by the way. That was something Lion Steel was doing. Uh, is it Lion Steel? Or is it Viper? I can't remember. I get them confused. Um, a couple months ago, people were buying a lot of the Sure Grips. I think it was Viper. It might have been the Handy. I think yeah. it was the Viper Handy. It was. Yep. yep. All right. Those were the last carries for this week. So disappointing. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, as well as ring that bell. That way you're in with AK and notified when new stuff drops. Yep. Like upcoming reviews. Oh, yeah. The Crispy is on the ball now. He's, he's doing some reviews. We're going to show his face one day. Maybe, Try not to. Maybe. Yeah. And Jules trying to work on a parody video also. So. Uh-huh. I'm trying to work on a parody video. We just, we're thinking about little things that irritate us to death. You know what really grinds my gears? <laughs> Might as well just start a last man standing rant right now. We should do that. I don't know. You also get Separate automatically channel. entered into giveaways. We're running the 13th anniversary giveaway right now, so you can enter here or become an official AK member via the link down below. And answer the AK trivia question. Yep. All right, favorite knife of the <laughs> oh wow of the week. So it's funny that the, my favorite knife is also the one I want to carry. I'm going to carry this knife. So I'm going with the Lion Steel. Hmm. Skinny, because I really like this knife. And blue, blue goes. And the blue carbon fiber is nice. I really like that. Opens really well. I'll probably never remove the flipper stud, though. That's going to stay on there yeah, forever. Just, I don't need it. Let's travel it. to Europe. Now, take it from me in the plane anyway. Mm. Bunch of mom and dads I'll, I'll everywhere eat it. you go. Like Ridiculous. a ring. Is my knife. Wow. Are you kidding of me? Right the week? Now? Yeah, I love this stag. I'm just trying to kiss the wind. I here, actually yeah. have some stag knives. I'm a, I'm a big stag guy. I don't really carry any of them. But I like to look Collect at them. Collect them and display them. Yeah. It's great. I, I don't, I'm not sure I'll pick this one up. I haven't decided yet. There's one little thing that kind of bugs me about it. But other than that, this is it right here. There's one little thing that bugs him about it. It's you know what it I'm is? It's present. It's the, not the, oh, not, not round rounded. on the end. Yeah. I know, but it's, it's thick stag. And I so got to tell I you, can say, old Hank in Mississippi loves the thick stag. This, Buys that sounds bad, flip. doesn't it? It does sound bad. He, he's a real good. guy. He buys case, stick stacks. Okay. Oh, Hank. See, hold on. So you can say, I don't like the rounded, it's not rounded, but if I bring up front flipper, it's like, don't, be, don't beat a dead flipper. sheep. Don't beat a dead sheep. That's because mm -hmm. there's a sheep on the. I know, way. but you're like, beat a dead horse. We made I... the comparison. Just move on. You know what? What knife have you been carrying? Oh, I've been carrying the uh, <sighs> Tor. Shut up. <laughs> you are so full of crap. That's my tour. I forget what it's called. What's it called? Oh, do you? What's you it's called? Is it the XT1 Bravo? I believe it is the XT1 Bravo. Is yeah. it? Could be the Alpha, too. No, it's the XT1 Bravo. Are you sure? I am almost positive. <laughs> almost positive. Well, he's yeah. almost he's almost positive. You can take I've that I've had this for quite bank. a while, actually. Have you? Yeah, since we first started getting tour. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're carrying your tour. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also carrying my rat. Oh, are you? One's for show. Oh yeah, I had to Once sharpen this this morning because I cut some metal. I heard you in my little uh, in your office sharpening. I'm like, what is he doing? You really? Yeah, I heard. Oh, you. and I got is an FTL. No, it's a 511. Five, yeah, 511. Five yeah. I always think FTL. I always have those because uh, skew I don't feel bad when they get broken or lost. Oh. I'm using the ones we got donated for free like 12 years ago. Those little black ones. Whenever it stops working, I'm like, ah, stop working. Throw uh, it out. Yeah, I'll have a hard time buying another one. No. I've actually uh, had to buy another one because I lost one outside and then I found it and it was all a little corroded Gross. and stuff. So I took all the little parts off of it I could use on the next one. And now I got a black flashlight with a copper clip and a copper uh, cap, but it works. And I'm missing the little thing it pushes into the top. That's my backup. So when I go outside He's and I do yard work flashlights you make it sound like like the boss doesn't give you enough to like yeah, get a new I flashlight know, but you know i'm not a i'll use it till it dies 
I'm not a... And then even after, I'll use the As long as parts. it produces light when I need it, that's really all I'm looking for. I'm not, I'm not concerned about the light. lumens or the wow. intensity of the beam. I think you will be when you want to get a lot of light, and it's like, wow, this flashlight sucks because you're in pitch black. All right, we didn't put 11 extra minutes on this Yeah, thing. all right, that's it, folks. All right, like that, I'm seeing this was... Jewel, just Jewel. Yeah, you know, I did the... Just like, yeah. And we're signing off. I heard this can be used instead of excuse me or please move. Just I've never heard that. But well, you don't you, you don't hear it. You see yeah, it. it doesn't you sound like OJ's attorney. All right. And did he or did he not win? I don't know. Do you really felt like he won? I don't feel like don't really personally feel like he, he won. won, but in the case he won. I mean he didn't go to prison immediately. Yes. Isn't that the goal? That's I'm, the goal. I'm not really sure if, if that's you know a... you're going to jail and you're like, my only goal is to stay out of jail, then yes, he won. And he became famous from that. I mean, I know he was, he was already. famous before that, but he, be... he was more uh... famous after that. Okay. You what are... do you mean, okay? It, it's I, true. I believe the word for that is infamous. <laughs> I, I don't I, believe it's famous. I don't think you're using that word correctly. I it's infamous. Alrighty. So it's eight. This better be good. I stopped at several options. This better be good. Better be like. Oh, yeah. It's probably windy. Want to know if you want wait, wait. relish on your hot dog. What was it? ADT security. <gasps> We're being robbed? Oh, did you hear that? There was like an excellent click in there. Years ago. But I'd say. ADT security. Between the eyes of the ADT security right now. <sighs> Are you should answer them. You know, if they were this persistent in calling, they should be this persistent in protecting. Because you didn't answer the first time. You must be in distress. We must call again. <sighs> Are you done, ADT? I can't say where I else. Okay, go ahead. Wow. Sorry. Anybody needs a uh, heroin mule? <laughs> Sounds like we got one here. Are you serious right <laughs> now? I've heard that's how it works. Are you serious Any right week, now? This would be my wow. pick. Heroin mule compared to my personal possession of knife. Wow. And they put it in balloons, you swallow it, uh -huh. get on the plane. Yeah. I've well, heard that's, that's how it that's works. My other, and we know how it comes out. You've heard. Um, but. Can also die. I've seen NCIS. This episode. right here.